What's going on everybody? How are y'all doing today? And as y'all can see, we are back for our CS2 knife tier list. As always, I'm joined by... Slavis Muiduko. And uh, yeah, we're gonna get straight to it. Once again, y'all can check out our first uh, knife tier list for CSGO. I'll link it uh, in the top left corner. So this tier list is gonna be exclusively on how the knives got upgraded, do they look better in CS2, and you know, with the overall new lighting, how we feel about the knives. That being said, let's get straight into the tier list. First up, we got the Navaha knife. You know, the Navaha, the Navaha knife is just not one of my favorite knives in CSGO. I, I hate this knife, and honestly, opinion, it looks bad. The blade on it is tiny, and if you ask me, there's a reason why the Navaha is one of the cheapest knives in Counter-Strike. It's because it just doesn't look good, and it's not worth the money. There's so many better knives to spend your money on, and the Navaha on any finish is a scam. It's one of those knives I'd be really upset to pull out of a box, to be honest. I'd be uh, 100%. I think the default CT and T knives look better. Like, I I'm so serious when I think those knives, they're way longer, they're cleaner, they look sharper, they're overall better knives. It deserves F tier, and that's it. It, it that's just it. it just deserves F tier. That's that's about it. It's F tier knife. Next up, we got the Nomad knife, and uh, th this knife is pretty nice. Uh, so I think we rated it B in um, CS:GO, and I think that's a good placement. It's a clean knife overall. Nice clean animations. You get to see both sides. The pullout animations are sick. It's got a rare uh, pullout animation. Overall, it's a sleek knife. It's clean. It's not one of the craziest ones in the game, but it's definitely one I'll appreciate when I see it because not a lot of people run it. And I think overall, it's a decent knife. Yeah, no, I think the Nomad knife is pretty good. I, I I've never had a like, it's one of those knives I don't, really, I don't really think about all the time, but when I see it, I'm not, like, upset to see it. It looks pretty good. The vanilla looks especially nice with the new shine on it, um, and it looks pretty good with a lot of finishes. And, of course, if you like both sides, you always get to see both sides. I, I think it's a solid B-tier knife. Can't really ask for more. Uh, absolutely. Yeah, let's uh, put it back into B-tier. Next up, we got the butterfly knife. Uh, the butterfly knife is just, I mean, it's a legendary knife. I think everyone knows this knife. It is... It's just clean, has great animations. If you got ADHD, you probably like this knife because you'll never be bored with how many animations you can chain together. It's kind of insane how much different variations there are. Plus on every finish, it looks great. And of course the little like marble handles that they got in this one change color and change finish depending on what you have. So I think this is a great knife. You can never go wrong. It's a little expensive, but it, there's a reason for it. I mean, I feel like everybody knows where this knife's gonna go. We know it, y'all know it. I mean, it's obvious it's the best knife in the game. And uh, everything about it is just perfect. It's uh, yeah. all the finishes look great, the animations. It's just an absolute beauty of a knife. And uh, without a doubt, this is the easiest ranking in the entire, you know, tier list. It's just the easiest S tier that we have here. Yeah, easy S tier for sure. Next up, you have the Karambit. And uh, as always, we put it in S tier in, uh, for CSGO and in CS2, I believe it's also an S tier. It's an absolute classy knife. It's beautiful. It's very clean on a lot of finishes. Fades look amazing. The gems, the animations, you don't want like, you know, the crazy butterfly animations. You want something that you, the same exact animation for like every, you know, pull out. You're always going to get the same thing. You can always, you know, look at it on the regular one. And it just overall, it's a classy gentleman knife, and uh, it's always appreciated. It's iconic and beautiful. Yeah, I mean, the Karambit looks great in CS2. I actually think the vanilla Karambit looks exceptionally good. It looks really nice with this black uh, blade finish and the black uh, gunmetal finish. I think the Karambit just has some of the coolest, cleanest animations. I mean, you can never get wrong with the, it's like, spinning it around your hand. Come on, I think we all know it's gonna go back right into. I mean, yeah, of course, it's it's going back into S tier once again. Uh, I think the butterfly and the karambit are on the same level of S tier. It just depends. Do you want the crazy animations in the fidget spinner, or do you want more of a classy and low profile knife that looks very clean and elegant? Next up, we got the huntsman. And uh, so, a lot of people question our placement of the huntsman for the CS:GO tier list. And I 100% stand by what I said. I think this is one of the most underrated knives in CS2. It's quite cheap for how big the blade is. It's clean. It's got a lot of grooves, a lot of similarities to the M9 Bayo. Uh, the gem finishes on this knife look amazing. And the best thing about it is the handle stays black. So with, if you want to match with Pandora's, the high tier gloves, the gems on these Huntsman knives look absolutely amazing. I yeah. think uh, the animation is clean as well i know it's the gut knife animation that doesn't mean it has anything to do with the gut knife though and overall i just absolutely love this knife it's such a good knife 
I never really understood the reason why people don't like the, the Huntsman knife. I think it has pretty much everything you could ask for for a lower budget knife. It's got a gargantuan blade, looks great on every finish. Uh, I mean, the handle looks good. I love this little carbon fiber finish, which changes depending on what type of knife you get. Um, it's just an excellent, like, lower tier knife. I wouldn't even say lower tier, like mid tier knife. I'd say mid tier. And, yeah, definitely mid tier knife. And I mean, I just don't understand how people can't see to like it. I think it's a great knife. I love the Absolutely. Huntsman. And I 100% stand by the fact that I think it deserves an A tier. Lower A tier, there are going to be other knives that are going to go higher in A tier. Yeah, but definitely. it's a lower A tier knife for sure. Next up, we have the Falchion knife. Now, the funny thing about the Falchion knife is, again, I used to hate this knife, but as I've been playing with it more and more and seeing people use it, I think I like it. And I think this is one of the knives that received the biggest overhaul from CSGO to CS2 because it has a brand new set of melee animations. And I think they are so cool. Just being able to like heavy stab and just catch it, it just looks great. It looks great with all the finishes as well because it goes on the handle. I mean, come on. The Falchion knife is, I think, underrated, honestly. Absolutely, I think it's underrated as well. The new animations are wonderful. It's pretty spammy too. You could just run around, you know, throwing the blade side to side. It looks super cool. Uh, a lot of the finishes look clean on it as well. And honestly, for the price that this knife is, I think it's a great steal. They made they changed the rarity for the rare animation, so now you can get to see this animation a lot more, which I think is good. Um, and overall, you get a lot for the knife for mm -hmm. the price that it sits at. Tons of great animations, a very rare animation, and uh, a new, you know, melee animation. Overall, it's a great sleeper knife. I, I think it's a B tier knife. My I opinion. think it's a B tier knife. I honestly think it's a great knife nowadays. It's lower than Nomad, but overall, I think it's such a good knife for the price that it is, and it offers a ton of great things about it. Next up, the flip knife. So the flip knife, I believe we had it in a B in the CSGO tier yeah. list, and I have a few things to say. So people refer to it as the Falchion's big brother. I think personally that switched, okay? Um, I think the Falchion offers a lot more now than the flip knife. The flip knife, it, it is a longer blade, right? It's larger and uh, the gem finishes tend to look a little bit better. I honestly think the Falchion's better than the flip knife. I know people are gonna question it. I, I stand by it. I think the Falchion is a better knife now. You know, I, I've I've always been kind of torn between the Fauci and the flip knife because they kind of fundamentally are the same type of knife. I think the flip knife has its merits. I think the flip knife is a good knife. I think the flip knife has a gigantic blade for the size of the handle. I don't even know how that works. But other than it having a gigantic blade and it being kind of sleek, there's not really much it stands on being better than the Fauci knife in any considerable way. After yep. they did the new pass, I think the Fauci knife is better. Uh, um, but the flip knife is a solid V tier for sure. Next up. We have the bowie knife oh the bowie knife how much i want to love you is such a large blade it's the the one of the smoothest animations like chaining them together it's so smooth uh, you know the gem finishes look so good man the the one-handed thing it killed me in csgo it's killing me in cs2 i just want to i have gloves i want to see both gloves okay i don't want to see half of my gloves i paid for both of them and uh, the bowie removes one of them it's it just it pains me because the Bowie is such a nice knife overall. Yeah. And it's just a clean, big, you know, Joe Rogan ass knife. And I. It, it, <laughs> it, 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 this knife brings me pain because it's such a good knife, but there's no second hand. And that's such a big flaw to it. I think people who love the Bowie knife are people like. If you don't care about gloves and you just like your big knife, then Bowie knife all the way. Because the Bowie knife is one of the coolest looking knives. I mean, this thing is gargantuan. It has some of the coolest, and it actually kind of makes sense to use for like even the T side. Just like if you think about it, if they add a second hand, I think it would be good. And that's honestly why I'm kind of excited for the upcoming Kukri knife because it's kind of the big blade, but you have both hands. I mean, and, and that's really the biggest sin of the Bowie. Yep. If you if you spend two thousand dollars on some gloves, bro, uh, you're getting a thousand dollars worth. Yeah, that's, exactly. That's disgusting. And for that, I, th I think it's a C tier. If they add, I man. promise, if they add a second hand, which will never happen, but if they added a second hand, it would probably be an A tier knife, honestly. Yeah, I agree. I agree with that. Next up, you got the bayonet. I've always loved the bayonet. I think the one sin it has is weird green handle. Other than that, the animation is insane. Being able to flip it, it looks great, especially in CS2. Super shiny. Looks great with a lot of finishes. Not insanely expensive either. And so for that price, or for that all consideration, I'm a big fan of it. I've always loved the bayonet. 
and uh, I second that. It's a wonderful knife. I I always loved it. This is to me what where like high tier starts. This I I find this to be a high high tier knife, and uh, like the the entry point to high tier knives. Maybe maybe a few other ones below it, but I it's always been a great knife. It's clean. It's it's a large blade. Great gem finishes. Amazing pull out animation. It, you know. That's uh, always the great thing about the Bayos, and there's not much to say about it. It, it was an eight top of A tier, and absolutely deserves to go back in top of A tier. One hundred percent, yeah, I love the I love the bayonet. Next up, the gut knife. All right, so the gut knife in CS:GO, we we were pretty skeptical of the gut knife. Wow, this looks pretty cool for vanilla, but ever since I did a ton of videos on you know uh, cheap a glove knife combos i have gained an appreciation for the gut knife honestly i appreciate it way more now than i did before and for the reason that it's a big blade it's an incredibly cheap knife and the blade is huge so you know like diamond gems uh, gem finishes in general fades you have a lot of like real estate in terms of the blade to work with the pull out animation is great the spin and yes it's a shorter you know chody little bit of a knife but i honestly like this knife a lot more than i did previously i, th I think it's a bit underrated you know the gut knife and me i feel like i have a complicated relationship <laughs> i really want to like this knife a lot more than i think i do but i don't think the big chunk although i i will say cs2 this vanilla gut knife actually looks pretty good very nice I, yeah, I yeah, yeah the shine is on it is excellent and it has some really good finishes as well because that's such a big as a wider blade but other than that i'm not a never been a really big fan of the gut knife but i don't hate it by any means i just don't think it's that great of a knife I think it's a fair C, C placement. I, I do not yeah. think it deserves D tier. We had it in D tier previously. No, yeah, no D tier. I, it's it's a C tier knife. It's a solid solid entry, you know, cheap knife and looks good. Next up, we have the stiletto. Now, okay, the stiletto is one of these knives that confuses me because I don't know why people like it so much. I think for the price that you find stilettos at, you get a lot of just not that great features. I like the pull animation. I like the inspect, but the knife itself is just nothing substantial. It's too tiny. You didn't even really see the finish. The only redeeming part on it is that the metal parts on the end and like where the blade connects to the handle are get the finish as well. But other than that, I don't think it's that great of a knife. I, I really don't like it. Okay, so um, I, I stand a little bit different on this knife. I, I didn't really like it before. I don't love it now, but I think I like it a little bit more than previously. I think that the, what people like about this knife a lot is that it's different from other knives. It's it's not a huge blade. It's not like, you know, a Huntsman or an M9. It's a very pointy, sharp, clean blade that, you know, it's not in your face, but it's uh, it's got good animations. You know, the toss one's pretty cool. Um, and I think it has a lot of pairing potential with gloves as well um in terms of like you know the handle you could match that with you know like with the spearmints you could see a very similar color scheme will i say it's my favorite knife in the game no but i do like it more now i, I know a lot of people in the game love it uh i won't say i love it but i think it's a decent knife yeah i could i could definitely agree with that so I'm, now that it comes extent. down to rating it or we're gonna have to come to a consensus here i think the the stiletto you can crucify me in the comments if you want i'll stand on it i think the stiletto is a c-tier knife i don't think it's anything more special than the gut knife or the the bowie in my opinion i would give it somewhere between a and b maybe b plus so would you want to average it out to a b minus and we could average it out to a b minus for okay. sure yeah we'll, we'll put it in b uh, bottom of b tier but uh yeah i do think it's a little better than the flip knife i will say that i agree yeah than yeah the flip yeah knife. i agree next up at the shadow daggers all right so it's a very similar situation to the gut knife i got to use this knife before now um i made a ton of glove knife combos with this knife and i like it a lot more than i did previously i think uh you know honestly now looking at the vanilla that's very nice it's got like this almost like yeah. um spray not spray paint but like that specific finish similar to a twilight galaxy if it was like full black do you get you get what i'm saying yeah, yeah, yeah it's like this yeah it's got this like speckled type of finish that looks very nice but um uh, the main thing about what Shadow Daggers do really nicely is, yes, they're a tiny blade, tiny. You barely see the knives, but it, let's say if you like gloves, they make great glove knife pair combos because you get to see both gloves, 
the back, the front, and uh, the knife helps accentuate that. But on the knife itself, gem finishes look nice. It's got a nice, you know, uh, two-tone color scheme with like the middle being a different color than the blade. Once again, the biggest drawback is a tiny blade, but I think um, this knife gets a little bit overhated. And in CS2, they fixed the pull-out animation. It doesn't wobble your crosshair anymore. Yeah, I honestly don't really understand why people hate the Shadow Daggers. I think they're pretty unique. If you like the Stiletto because you think it's unique, then you gotta like the Shadow Daggers because they're unique, okay? They're the only double pair knives in the game. Now, as you mentioned with the palms, I think the coolest part is you get to see both your palms with this knife. I don't think there's any other knife in the game that you get to see both your palms at the same time when you inspect. Plus, um, I think these vanilla Shadow Daggers are kind of insane. I won't even lie, like they are really crispy with the new black finish. They look really nice. Other than that, I mean, I think they're overhated. I don't love, like, I don't, I'm not going to say, like, they're S tier. But I don't think they're even B tier. But I think they're not F tier. I think people hate them way too much. Oh, absolutely. Um, uh, For me, it's somewhere between C and, and D tier. I, just because some of the upcoming knives are a little bit sussed out, in my opinion, I want to say C tier, and I'm okay moving it down later. If you want to put in D tier, I can't argue that. I think, I think, I think because the way I see it, uh, the Shadow Daggers are in between the Navaja and the Gut Knife. I think the Gut okay. Knife is better. Yeah. So, I think it's high D tier. Next up, we have the Survival Knife. Alright, so, in, in CSGO, in the previous tier list, we called it the Mutt Knife, and... It's even more clear to me now in CS2 than it was before. I honestly think this is one of the most, I'm sorry to the survival knife users, I think this blade is hideous. I, I, I get the survival knife aspect, but there's so much going on. It, it's a combination of the, the uh, we got serrated blade, we've got like a gut knife hook, We've got the middle, you know, missing, similar to the um, paracord knife. It's just an absolutely ugly blade. Yes, the pull-out animation is cool. That's the one good thing about it. Other than that, I actually cannot stand using this knife in-game. I'm sorry. I, yeah, I think the survival, and again, I totally get why it's called the survival knife and it has all these features because obviously if you're surviving in the woods, you need to have a serrated blade. You need to be able to gut a fish. Okay, yeah, whatever. Um, we're also in the middle of Afghanistan shooting terrorists, so I don't think we need to do any of those things. <laughs> I think we need to have a better looking knife, in my opinion. <laughs> this, this, I don't like this knife at all. I think it's very ugly. It seems like they couldn't figure out which knife they wanted to do, so they just had someone, they just picked a feature from each knife that they thought looked cool and then put it in one blade and they were yielded the ugliest knife, one of the ugliest knives in the game. I say this with full... Uh, actually, I don't think it's worse than the Navaja, but it's an absolute F tier knife. I'm it's sorry. definitely not a good I, knife. I do not like this knife, man. Next up, we have the Paracord knife. Now, the funny thing about the Paracord knife is that it's just kind of a weird looking knife in my opinion. I think it's kind of cool in some aspects. It kind of looks like a skyscraper to me and that's because it has like a weird sort of like the back end kind of like it looks like a building and other than that i think that's a cool animation i think it has some cool finishes Very nice. i wouldn't necessarily get that yeah that left hand throw looks cool it looks pretty good in cs2 that's not my favorite knife it's all right i like how the blade is quite large um the cutouts are pretty cool as well um you can make this look very nice with certain gloves as well, but uh, in terms of the knife itself, it's nothing crazy, right? It's a, it's a low-tier knife that, you know, it's priced at a low-tier knife, but I think overall it's just a decent-looking blade and a decent-looking kit of uh, inspects and pull-out animations. So overall, I think this is a sol solid knife for the price. Once again, it, we can't rate it high because it's nothing crazy. I think it's a solid C-tier. C-tier, yeah, definitely beneath the gut knife, though. Gut knife, yeah, the gut knife is definitely better, but... I do think the paracord's better than Shadow Daggers. Next up, we got the Talon. You know, I always thought this was a, you know, the l lower brother of the Karambit. And uh, now that I actually run one in game, I have a newfound appreciation for this knife. The so they fixed the audio. It doesn't crackle anymore. What happens is when you spin the knife, it makes the crackle noise for about two seconds and goes away. Very good change. But uh, overall, I think this knife is very clean. The ivory handle makes it very unique in that it matches with a lot of uh, gloves very nicely with the handle. Gem finishes look amazing on the talent. The animations, the pullout animation is nice. He fans it out. Um, the inspect is clean as well. It's the same as the Karambit. It's a very sleek, clean looking knife. And um, I, I think it's uh, overall an absolutely wonderful high tier knife. Yeah, I think the Talon has brings a lot of merits. I think if you want a Talon, if you want a Karambit type knife, but you don't want to front the price of a full Karambit, you can kind of mitigate that with the Talon being a, like cheaper. I think the white ha ivory fit handle finish is sick. 
Um, I'm glad they fixed the audio crackling because that was my biggest issue. I don't love the animation still where he kind of spins it out like this, but I, I think that's just a personal thing. I, there's nothing they could really do to make it like make me like that more. I still think it's a great knife. Uh, blade on it is gigantic, has this cool serrated backhand with these three circles. It's a cool knife. Can't ask for more. I think it's basically on, -tier, it's a 100% A tier. It's bayonet and talon are interchangeable. Yeah, it's like the a little bit like less upgraded version than the M9 and the Karambit. That's that's the way I see it. Yep, Absolutely yep. wonderful knife, nonetheless. Next up, we got the Ursus. Now the Ursus knife is kind of an interesting knife because I first I first I thought it was kind of boring. I was like, okay, it's just kind of a normal looking knife. But then they you know, has some really nice animations. And the more and more I look at it, the more and more I appreciate the shape of the blade and honestly the general look of it. The only cons the only problem I have with this knife is that a lot of the finishes do not change the handle. I do not like these weird beige handles. The that's the only problem I have with the Ursus. I think it's a great knife otherwise, and I think it has a lot of merits. I think this is a uh, super, I don't think it's underrated or overrated. I think it's a slept on knife. People don't acknowledge that it exists. And yeah. uh, I think more people should look into it because for the price that these knives cost, I think they look awesome. Pull out animation, inspect an animation. There's a, there's a lot going for this knife and it, it's a very clean tactical looking knife. Almost to me, it reminds me of like, like a little mini katana, honestly. It's like yeah, a Tonto. Uh, yeah. yeah, exactly. And uh, it's a very clean uh, knife. It's not one of the crazy high tiers, but I think it's an absolutely solid knife overall. This is pretty middle of the road. I prefer it over a lot of the B tier knives. I would put um, it top of B tier. Yeah, yeah I would say sure. definitely top of B tier. Next up, my all time favorite knife, the M9 Bayonet. The M9 Bayonet is just a classy gentleman knife. It has that Joe Rogan ness of like the. the Fighting grizzly oh, bears. Bowie. Yeah, you could fight a grizzly bear with that thing. You could just do a lot with the bayonet. And I just think it's such a clean knife. It looks great with all the finishes because the blade is just so comically large. The an inspect animation, you know, is something special, but it doesn't have to be because you're holding the bayonet. Okay, you're holding the bayonet. This is just not a knife. This is the M9 bayonet. Okay, this is just, it's a goaded knife. I don't know what else to say. Uh, I, yeah, absolutely. I, people overlook this in the high tiers. Uh, you know, Karambit's the curved knife. Butterfly's the crazy, you know, fidget spinner, you know, crazy animation knife. This is the just clean, you know, normal looking nice. stock knife, but it's huge, it's serrated, and the, I, I swear the gem finishes on this are probably the best in the game, other yeah. than maybe a Karambit. The gem finishes on this look absolutely insane. The stock knives, the, you know, the stock vanilla one looks great. All the finishes on this knife look amazing, you know, and it, it doesn't need all the, it's, it's one of those knives that doesn't need all this crazy animations or crazy curved look or anything. It's just, you know, when they say big is better, this is exactly the motto for this knife. And I always think it's one of the best knives in the game. Yeah, no doubt. I think the, the band that is, is S tier. People now, question our S tier placement. Lives. We're putting it back in S tier. We it, 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 It's an S tier knife. It's, it's that simple. It's just an amazing knife. Next up, we have the classic. Classic has always been a good knife. You know, cool, you know, uh, flip around animations uh, with tossing it in the air. The knife looks very nice. I think the fade finish on this knife is probably the best for this knife. It looks absolutely amazing. I feel like, I don't know, it's it's a weird knife because it, it is a kitchen knife and yeah. uh, it has a large nostalgia factor to it. And, uh, you know, I won't say it's one of the craziest knives in the game, but it's an absolutely solid knife. There's a lot of good things going for it. And, and it's just like something about it that I can't explain that I just really like about this knife. I, I, I really don't know what it is. I think this knife just oozes style. I think that's what it is. It's it's like almost unapologetic to be the type of knife it is and in the best ways. Plus, I can see that once they add gem finishes to this knife, good lord. Ooh, probably will have some of the craziest crazy. gem finishes in the game. Yes. Sir. Um other than that, I mean, yeah, you know, it's a CS source knife. In fact, I think it even goes further back than that. I think pretty I'm pretty sure this is like one of the OG OG knives, but I remember using it in CS source. I'm glad to see it come back. You know, it doesn't have to be anything. It doesn't have to be, be S tier. It doesn't have to be anything crazy. It's the yep. CS Source knife, and I like it. Absolutely. I think this is a uh, probably maybe somewhere top of B tier. You know, my heart wants me to put it in A tier, but obviously, logistically, I, it's a B tier. It cannot be higher than like the Ursus. I don't think it can. I agree. Yeah, I think uh, I think uh, below the Ursus is a good placement. Last but not least, we got the skeleton knife. You know, this knife 
is actually probably one of the cooler knives in the game honestly in my opinion at first you know i looked at it and i'm like the blade's not that big and whatever but the animations that it has are some of the coolest you got that crazy thumb spin animation when you pull it yep right there yeah the, the, of course the fidget spinner helicopter helicopter animation i mean it's just such a cool looking knife it's super sleek you can't really ask for more in it you know if you want something that has a little bit of adhd animations but has maintains a more traditional knife look you got the best of both worlds i think with this one i i got to own this knife for a little bit and i absolutely loved it i love the pull out animations the, the the twirl animations the knife is sleek it's clean it's a very clean blade it like the vanilla one looks absolutely great it, it, i like how it's like a lot of it's missing in the middle i like the little three you know four holes in the middle i think it adds to the you know the characteristic of you know what this knife is and overall i always see this i will always see this knife as a high tier knife i think it's a very clean knife and um it's got a lot of great things going for it super sleek this yeah. is an uh, e easy a tier uh it's going oh, yeah, back easy -tier. tier knife for sure no doubt I want to say some in, maybe in a little over the bayonet. It, I would say honestly, I, I, I think it, bayonet. I think it's a little bit better than Bayo. Yeah, I do but agree with that. I think it has a little more style. All right, so here's our final tier list for our CS2 knives and S tier. We kept everything the same. Butterfly Karambit M9. M9 deserves to be an S tier. It's a amazing, huge knife. A tier. I think the top three everybody will understand. Huntsman. I will stand by the fact that it's an A tier knife huge blade nice animations super underrated and super slept on and for the price it's a amazing knife b tier basically a b tier has a lot of variance in terms of how good the knives are but everything in b tier is good they're all yep. great knives um you could move them you know you could shift them around maybe falchion could go a little bit lower or higher but you know everything in b tier is good c tier we, we moved up the paracord i think it needs a little bit more praise um d tier we have shadow daggers just because they're tiny and f tier navaha and survival I, they're not worth just buying, bro. not worth buying You're i think your money. everything above d tier is worth buying uh they're priced well and uh yeah i mean with that being said i think i think i can't argue with this tier list at all uh if you do want to argue with our tier list and call us stupid and dumb you could just join the discord and do that i mean Hey, you know, we're always there you go. We, 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 Yeah, yeah, that would be... Maybe we you would agree. Maybe we you would love to it. talk to y'all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We would love to talk to y'all. Yeah, if y'all want to tell us the stiletto's too low or the huntsman's too high or whatever, you know, y'all want to let us know, uh, join the Discord and let's talk about it. But with that being said, I hope y'all enjoyed the tier list and uh, see you guys in the next one. Peace out, guys.